Hey guys, welcome to Brick Boy, a show where we review Lego sets, and today we got a Hero Factory set, set number 2232, 52 pieces, ages 716, it is 1299, it is Raja, and Raja, what are you doing? Raja? Raja? What's this guy's deal? He looks just like me, what's with this? Hey, he's moving! Urgh! Jerk, what do you think you can do? What do you think you're doing? Urgh! Stop, Raja! Stop! Jerk! Now you heard my ice try again. Bad. Eh. So yeah, Raja is my favorite of the, uh, or so far, I don't own all of them yet, but of the, uh, Hero Factory 2011 standard size villains, he is my favorite. Just because he looks very cool, and, uh, I don't think really I need to argue beyond that. He looks cool. Uh, he's definitely the strangest one, or not really definitely, but he's a strange one, he, he doesn't have a normal head, he's uh, one of the stranger ones, but Hero Factor 3.0 I feel like is the most creative of the three, just because he, uh, all the animals are very unique, like, really there's only one, not counting Witch Doctor, there's really only one humanoid one, not count, and also not counting Rocket XL, only really Waspix is to be the only humanoid one out of the four villains that still qualify. Or, I guess, well, there's only two humanoid ones if you count Witch Doctor. So, out of the five villains, there's only three. Uh, there's only two humanoid ones, and Rawjaw is not one of them, obviously. But he still is strange. He looks like a gorilla. So, yeah, box. Refectory. <coughs> Excuse me, I really haven't been feeling well lately. It's Roger. Stuffs. Side. And there's more stirfs. There's a uh, that side. And there's his face. Yeah, box. Nothing special. Let's get to the part that is special. Rajo. Uh, Rajo. This is his face. Uh, he doesn't connect to a normal head. It's basically. The uh, they have this, and then they have an armor piece that Raja attaches, or, or Raja's head attaches to. The armor piece is actually a little unique, like that, but then you put his head over that, which is kind of similar to a normal head of the Hero Factory, but it doesn't actually attach to normal heads. I've tested it. So yeah, his mouth kind of opens and closes a little bit, just a little bit. Kind of like move it around. He's a Rao Jao. So his back, he's got this uh, armor piece with the spike. Uh, his body's a little unique, as you can see. He doesn't actually connect to the standard neck. He kind of attaches on the back. Uh, you'll understand it once you build it. Uh, his armor is very bulky, very, very bulky, is Rao Zhao. Uh, when I first saw Rao Zhao, I honestly thought he was going to be one of the larger sets because his box was a little different from the others. But... Uh, no, he's just the normal $13 set. Arms are very bulky. It has the, uh, bulkiest armor of the standard armor pieces with these things. And it's got these new pieces. Uh, I don't even know what to call this. It's just a thing. And his, uh, claws. Uh, of course, yeah, it's the same piece as Raka and, uh, I guess Stringer for his hands. But he doesn't really have any claws or anything, it's just really hands. And it's got the spikes on them. The spikes are kind of rubbery. So yeah, his, he's really good at articulation. Also, he has a tail on the back. Kind of looks ugly. He's got a lot of articulation. He's got some there. He's got, like, so many joints in the legs. His legs are, like, really short. Uh, he can flex, like, 360 with that. He also flex 360 with the middle joint, which is a little unique. But for someone like Rawjaw, I think it's necessary. It wouldn't be... He wouldn't really be... Uh, playable. You, you can't really play with him if his arms are just like that movement or that movement. And then you got full flexibility on the hands. Uh, the head is very flexible. Uh, you can't really turn his head. You can kind of do like that. But you can't really turn it enough. Uh, his jaw look, it's kind of awkward to move his jaw. Like you can't just really go like that. You have to kind of can flex all around, so not too easy just to get his jaw to open and close like a natural person. 
Or, of course, he's not a natural person. He's a jungle creature. See, so that's Rao Jiao. Not uh, the ones I've seen. My favorite uh, $13 set. So, yeah. I guess let's get down to the ratings. Uh, size. I'm going to go 3. Because he's pretty big. Uh, actually, I'm going to go yeah, 3. Just because uh, he is kind of large. Uh, he's like about the same size as a hero, just he's very, very bulky. He's basically just the, the size of a hero, but really, really bulky. So yeah, it's 3M size. Uh, mocking pieces, I'm going to go 3.5 because he's got a lot of nice armor pieces. And uh, all these spikes, which are pretty cool, and the hands. We like the hands. Then his face is really good uh, for mocking. If you want to make like a beast character, this is a really good set to get for that. So yeah, mocking piece 3.5. <coughs> <coughs> I'm really sorry. I don't know what, why I've been coughing so much. So next, play value. Play value. I'm gonna go four because he is. Uh, he does have a lot of uh, articulation. Uh, his tail's got a lot of articulation too. He's got one there. One there, and then one there. So he's very articulated, and uh, he, he just looks like he could do a lot of things, because he's like a gorilla, kind of. So four on the play value, and then cool value, I'm going to go 4.5, just in case he looks really cool. He's very bulky, as I said. He's very cool looking. He looked like he could probably punch a hole in a brick wall if he wanted to, or punch a hole in a hero. Maybe not that punch, but if he's strong. He's strong, and he's... 4.5 on cool value. He looks really cool. So overall, I'm going to go 8.5. Really awesome. On the Hero Factory scale, I'm going to go 4 because he looks really, really cool. And he is awesome. Wait. Now I'm going to go 8 on, on Hero Factory scale and 8.5 on regular scale. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Next time, we'll be doing another Ninja Go Cart Pack. Or spinner, whatever it's called. Later.